Hi everybody, I'm out here on the range today. I got some steel penetrator M855 62 grain 556 rounds here. And I got some 55 grain full metal jacket rounds. I'm gonna be shooting everything out of my trusty 16 inch barreled direct impingement P-mag adapter here. And I got a target down there at around 30 meters. What we're gonna test today is whether this steel penetrator round will do better against a spaced armor target than this 55 grain full metal jacket. If you look at a previous video I did, we found that the 55 grain full metal jacket will punch straight through a 3 8 inch mild steel plate at 30 meters, but when you put a thin spaced armor piece of metal in front of it, I'm using a saw blade, it would then completely defeat the 55 grain full metal jacket. We're gonna try the same test, but with this M855 steel penetrator to see if it really lives up to its, rep its reputation. Let's do it. Okay, now here's an overview of our target. We have our 3 8 inch thick mild steel plate here. And we have this little saw blade, which is between a sixteenth of an inch to an eighth of an inch thick. We have it sitting right up against there with just a little offset. Now, for reference, this hole right here is a 55 grain full metal jacket, and it punched straight on through this. But, let's see what happens when we do that same 55 grain full metal jacket with this piece of armor in front of it. All right, this is the 55 grain full metal jacket against the spaced armor target in front of the 3 8 inch thick piece of mild steel. Okay, here's our target. We did not have any penetration of this 3 8 inch thick steel plate. Our saw blade, of course, has a nice through and through hole with it. But that was able to destabilize and deform that projectile so that it, when it hit the main armor, it couldn't penetrate it. Now that's the hole with a spaced armor plate in front. And this is the clean through and through hole when there's no spaced armor. So let's reset this and try the same test with the M855 steel penetrator round and see if it can go through this space armor plate and still manage to punch through the 3 8 inch mild steel plate behind it. Okay, we got our green tip penetrator round in there. Let's see how it does against our space armor arrangement. Ooh, okay. So here's the hole from that penetrator round. Now, of course, punch right through our space saw blade here. And you can tell it had that little penetrator. Look at that, look at that crazy hole in there. Now, one thing I did notice is if we flip this plate over, we don't have any penetration on the back. But, it is fascinating that they made a radically different hole than just the regular FMJ. Well, that's pretty neat. Hope this has been useful. I'm sure that those penetrator rounds do differently against things like cinder block and other cover. But, against steel, a, the same space star arrangement that'll stop a 55 grain FMJ will still stop a 62 grain steel penetrator. Ooh. All right, so I figured what the heck. If we're gonna be testing these so-called penetrator rounds, let's go all out. So I pulled out this roughly half inch thick railroad tie plate. Now this shot down here is a 55 grain full metal jacket 5.56 round. Notice it did not even come close to penetrating that guy. So we're gonna slam a M855 green tip into this and then compare its impact 
with that 55 grain full metal jacket 556. Okay, we got another M855 62 grain steel penetrator all loaded up here. Let's test it against that half inch thick railroad tie plate. Okay, there is our M855 steel penetrator round against a half inch thick railroad tie plate. And that's 55 grain full metal jacket. That's our penetrator. 55 grain penetrator. Now I notice that it might not come across on video, but the penetrator round did burrow in a good bit deeper than the 55 grain full metal jacket. It clearly has a dug kind of a almost conical shaped hole, whereas the full metal jacket is more of a spherical scoop. That's uh, interesting. I mean, it clearly has a penetrator in there doing a bit more penetrating, but very clearly it's not that much more impressive than just regular FMJ. Now again, maybe it's better at going through things like wood, cinder blocks, or lighter cover than steel plates, but against anything armored, it's really not that much of an improvement. Pretty neat test. Thanks for watching.